I'm going to show you how to add layers to a map. So let's click on creating a map. And there are several ways we can add material to our map. So in the upper left there's an add layers button and we can uh, load layers uh, world, which are on the world map server. These are layers that people have uploaded already and uh, are making available. There are 170 of those. Um, we have external data which is data sitting on remote servers that we can point to with a URL and we have upload layer which lets us upload our own uh, shapefiles or geotiff files from our hard drive and display them on the map. Okay, so let's start with world map data. I'm going to explore my list of layers by using a map to refine my search. So I've just zoomed into part of Africa. I have 170 layers in our uh, total list. Now I'm going to refine it. So I'm just bringing in layers which overlap this view, this part of the world. So now I have 19. I'm going to further refine my search by typing in the keyword Africa and now um, and this keyword search goes against the title and the abstract of the data layers. I, it turns out I only have one uh, layer for this area which has the word Africa and the keyword in the title or the abstract. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to add it to our map. Let's take a look. There it is. Okay. The other way we can load data is by pointing to a remote server. So we have Google layers which are an example of remote layers. Um, we can also, if we have a URL, um, point to a remote server. This URL has, happens to be um, provided by the World Health Organization and when I click add server world map is going to query the World Health Organization server and bring back a list of all of the layers that are on that remote server. So now we're looking at a list of layers which are on the World Health Organization server. <clears throat> So let's select global health facilities and I'm going to click add layers. And we can see that they are uh, coming in. Great. Now we're going to bring a layer in in the third, third way by uh, uploading it from our hard drive. And we have a shape file uh, on our hard drive that we're going to upload and we need to select the parts of the shapefile of a shapefile individually right now. Um, we're working on improving this interface but right now this is how we have to do it. I have to give this uh, a name and I'm going to click upload. So the file is getting uploaded to the server. Once it's up there, it's going to get unpacked, loaded to our database, and then uh, added to the map. And then a form will be provided to us that will allow us to add metadata for, for that layer. We're going to uh, just go through this metadata form fairly quickly, um, but it is important to fill this out. Um, and uh, soon, within a week or two, uh, we're going to be requiring uh, certain forms to be filled out. At the bottom of the form is a list of the database fields uh, in the file that we just uploaded and we can choose whether uh, these fields are going to be searchable from the interface. Down in the lower left uh, we have a uh, form that allows us to search uh, search any data layer in the system. So I'm now going to click update. Close this and we now have three 
can see the three layers that we uploaded. Ethnographic Atlas from the World Map Database, uh, Kenyan, uh, I'm sorry, the Global Health Facilities from the remote server, and the Kenyan Malaria Zones data that we uploaded. Now I'm going to save this map so that we can come back to it. I'm going to call, give it a name. I can choose uh, what I want to have show up in the URL. I can give it a description. I can put in keywords. I can choose the splash page that shows up when the application opens. And then I click Save. And now I can come back to this map. Um, the URL here in my browser uh, is a URL that I can come back to. I can email this to people. They'll be able to come in and see the same map.